Hey guys, welcome to another edition of What's Cooking Jersey. Sure, basically, this is why the IN is in cooking. It's not all about food. Today, I'm here as a community activist. This is my neighborhood. It's a place that I hold dear to my heart. And without any notice, it was shut, shut down. Not like any democracy, just shut down. So, I'm gonna introduce Kevin Gagan. And uh, he's going to introduce everyone else, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what's going on here. And Tom's River, Silverton especially, you got to stand up on the 14th. Check out the flyer, make your donations, help us keep things going. Kevin, pleasure Hi, to be uh, here. Thank you for the invite here. Uh, bunch of community activists, I'll let them run down the line, introduce themselves. Uh, Dana and uh, Christy. Christy. <laughs> Robert Bancini. Mariani Zelina. Stan Stolowski. So, uh, well, thanks for coming and uh, reaching out to me. What's what? Where you're standing, the Southern First Aid Building has been here since 1964. Since many of these houses weren't even here, um, we've been through some trials and tribulations and whatnot. Uh, the building was rebuilt uh, in the late 80s after a fire uh, during Superstorm uh, Sandy. A number of our members' homes were destroyed. If you remember, we had the National Guard living here for three months. Um, every everything you see here, the land, the building. All, all of these ambulances, including the Hummer, are not purchased with any taxpayer dollars. We, we, the organization owns them, which means the community owns them. The community owns everything here. Um, we, we pay the insurance on them, the workers' comp, everything else. Again, with no notice, uh, you know, Mayor Roderick, uh, which was probably his plan all the way, being that I'm a, a, a political foe of his, we used to sit on the council together, um, with no notice, just uh, terminated um, dispatching to us, which in, in effect shut us down. Um, although they do have some added staffing on with the township, our, our uh, goal is to take care of our people in Silverton. Uh, some are upset that we're other areas of the town or perhaps they can call us. If you need us, call us. What will come at, you know, we'll go anywhere regardless of where you live in town, what religion you are, color, sex, whatever. We're here to help people. Basically, what you're hearing here is like I said, you know, we're, li we're living right now, uh, Roderick's been in what, seven months? Approximately seven months. Yes. Seven months. Basically, he's saying that for 60 years that this place has been here, all you guys that are in politics that have been before him, we're all stupid here. You know, basically, he comes in, he's like, I'm going to use something that's religious, and uh, he's like the new messiah, and he's coming up with the epiphany that he's going to fix everything. First, it was the police, the animal shelter. Now this. The reason I'm here is because this strikes me close to home. Like I put in my Facebook post in 2016, my colon ruptured. I should have been dead. If it wasn't for the quick actions of the response number one of Silverton coming to get me and getting me to Ocean Medical as timely as they did, as my doctor, Thomas Lake, says, 15, 20 minutes, an hour later, you won't be here. I fought the battle of my life, but I'm still here and I'm here for a reason. So I don't just talk about food, guys. This right here, everyone that's out there and believes like I believe, as a person in this community and we need this emergency squad, you need to get out here. You need to make your donation. You need to help fund this place so we can keep it open. Hi, my name is Dana Tormolin. Um, a lot of Tom's River residents have learned my name for unfortunate reasons. Um, because we're trying to put Tom's River back to where it used to be, a great community with good leadership and, and honesty and integrity, and we don't have that anymore. So on August 14th, we will be having uh, an event here at Silverton EMS. Um, please follow us on Facebook. Our name is Tom's River Residents Uniting Everyone, and it's true because we are being truthful, unlike other people that are running our town right now so please come on out on august 14th we're going to have live entertainment food um, local breweries wineries we'd love to have you thank you uh, i'm here today because uh, silverton ems is near and dear to my heart my kids are playing across the street right now um, five years ago my daughter nearly drowned in an accident in our home and if it weren't for uh, silverton ems and 
specifically Kevin Gagan driving the ambulance, getting her to Community Medical Center as quickly as they did. I have no doubt in my mind that she wouldn't be here with us today. So this place is near and dear to me and to my kids and to our, our whole community. Thank you. My name is Robert Bianchini and um, I've been attending probably for the last six months a lot of the council meetings that they had downtown Tom's River and it just seems it's very weird that we've been fighting at the council meetings month after month and trying to get more ambulance services over to the barrier island which I agree with but why would you try to turn around and actually get more services over there and remove services from Silverton this is dear to my heart this place here one my wife works for the Tom's River uh, she volunteers for the Tom's River um, Garden Club and they use this place as their home Kevin's been fantastic with all the people there they let them use this place here for their, their meetings and everything like that. They take care of a lot of the grounds, help them do their plantings and everything like that. It just seems like that Dan is on nothing but a vindictive um, tyrant outrage of all these people that he thinks that he's just going to clean house. Listen, government doesn't work like that. We work for the people, okay? The bottom line is he has to get his act together. I was actually one of the meetings where Tommy Niverson begged for him, not begged, but he pretty much beg for him to keep the animal shelter over and he literally said no I want to commend Tommy Niverson for standing up to this guy he's not a sellout he knows what's good for the community we have to get involved and we have to get involved in the primaries once you make the primaries then you can get to the general election the primaries are more important please get involved with our community Tom's River is too great of a community to let go like this thank you hi my name is Stan Stolowski and I'll try to keep it short and simple this building and the services that they've provided for over 60 years is extremely valuable to this community and important to the community on the whole. And it's time for politics to get out of health care. This is a valuable service for our community and we have to keep politics out of it. I just want to also add, um, you know, with uh, EMS agencies across not only New Jersey, but the country, you know, shutting down due to lack of manpower or staffing, uh, funding, things of that nature. We've been very successful. This building has been manned 24-7 since when Superstorm Sandy hit, up until Mayor Roderick decided, you know, 7 o'clock at night to stop dispatching us. The building has been manned, uh, again, 24-7, two EMTs, or all of our ambulances are licensed through the State Department of Health, uh, Medicare, uh, the federal government um, scrutiny, everything is good. You know, we've, we've called for audits on ourselves. We welcome any county, state, federal agency, come on in. Look at what you have to look at. Dan, what's the problem here? You're losing ground every day. Wake up, smell the coffee. Your time's up. This is Chef Lombardo for another episode of What's Cooking Jersey Shore, Dundavella Cause.